Thank you. So we've got to get the developers back. Now, what's, how are we going to do that? What's our strategy to do that? Um, it started off, I'm not going to go back to the Apple II days, so we'll just start off with DOS. Now, if you're a developer, if you're a developer, you can build an app. Let's, let's use the metaphor of the floors of a building. You can build an app that's three floors tall. But you can't build an app that's 10 floors tall, because you've all read the mythical man month. What happens is as your software team starts getting bigger, it kind of collapses under its own weight, like a building built of wood. You can't build a building built of wood that high. So let's say you can build a three-story app. Well, that means if you start off with DOS, you're on the first floor, you can deliver a fourth-story app. OK? Well, what we did with the Mac was we had an OS that was about the same as DOS. But then what we did was we put this thing called the toolbox on top of it that lifted the developer up to the fifth floor so that they could write an app like PageMaker, deliver an eighth-floor app on Mac because they started at the fifth floor that they could never, ever, ever deliver on DOS. And that's why all these wonderful apps propelled Apple into these exciting markets over the years. But there's a problem now. And the problem is a very simple one. It's called Windows. <coughs> the Mac didn't progress much beyond the fifth floor. And over 10 years, Microsoft copied it. And now they can offer a developer, you know, you squint your eyes. One's a little better than the other in some areas. But you squint your eyes, and they're basically both fifth floor. That's not good for us. It's even a little worse, because they've been a little ahead of us in getting a multi-threaded, multitasking operating system underneath Windows. And that's arguably even better for the developer. So here's what we have to do. What we have to do is bring out an operating system that's even more advanced than NT. And this is not easy. This is not easy to do because these operating systems are very complex. We forget many times that it's taken NT eight years to get where it is today. Eight years. So to do this, we can't do this overnight. And fortunately, we've got one that has been battle tested and is ready for the challenge. But on top of that, we're going to put something called OpenStep. <laughs> and OpenStep lets you start developing your apps on the 20th floor. And the kinds of apps you can deliver are phenomenal. But there's another hidden advantage. Most of the great breakthroughs, the page makers, the illustrators, et cetera, the directors, come from smaller software companies. It's been said a few times today. They don't come from the large software companies. They come from the smaller ones. And the, one of the greatest things is that using this new technology, two people or three people in a garage can build an app and get it from concept to market in six to nine months that is every bit as feature rich, every bit as reliable, and every bit as exciting as a giant software company can do with a 150 person team. <clears throat> It's phenomenal. And so one of the things we are really going to stress is seeing 100 new software companies get started around this new technology to build the next generation page makers. <laughs>